Hello everyone, my name is Josh and today in this video you will see how you can display your Instagram images and post on your website using the Instagram feed widget of Powerpack Elements add-on for Elementor. Since we will be using the Powerpack Elements add-on for Elementor, make sure you have the Elementor plugin and the Powerpack add-on installed and activated on your website. Once it is done, go to the page where you want to add the Instagram feed widget. Now look for the widget and drag and drop it on the page. Make sure you see the double P icon at the top right corner of the widget. That means power pack. Now let's see how you can set up your Instagram account. For this you get two options. Either you can go with the Instagram API or you can display it using the Instagram username. I'll go with the username. Just enter the exact username of the account that you want to display the images of. Now let's take a look at the feed settings. Here you can change the number of images that you want to display here. Since we are not using the Instagram API, the maximum number of images that you can display here is 12. You can change the image resolution from the options. And if you want the images to sort in a different manner, you can do that too by the sort by option. Now coming to the general settings, you can change the layout of the images. You can choose grid, masonry layout or the carousel layout. Just select the one that you want to go with from the list. I'll go with the grid layout. You can also enable the square images. So once you do that, you will see the images are arranged in an even square formats. You can also choose the number of columns that you want to see here. I'll go by three. So we have six images arranged in two by three grid. You can enable or disable likes, comments, lightbox, image link and the show link to Instagram profile as well. Let's enable the likes in the comments and make them appear when the user hovers over the images. So right now the images will look like this and when I hover over the images, I'll see the like and the comment count. You can also enable the light box option and if you want to display a link to your Instagram profile, you can enable this option. You can customize the text and can add a link to your Instagram profile from this option. Also if you want to change the title icon, you can do that too. Once you are done with these settings, let's take a look at the styling options that you get with the Instagram feed widget. The first option is the layout. Here you can arrange the column gap and the row gap easily using the slider. Now for the images, you can choose if you want your images to have a grayscale effect. If you enable that, all the images will have a grayscale look. Further, you can add borders and can customize the borders of the images with the given options. Now for the content, you can change the typography, color, alignment, padding, etc. And you can further customize the icons too. You can also add an overlay to your images. Let's go ahead and try to do that with the overlay option. You can choose a blend mode for the images or you can go with the standard overlay background design. Now for your Instagram feed, you can customize the positioning, typography, text, color, border, etc. from these options. Once you are done with all these options, you can just go ahead and update the page and preview your design. Okay, so this is what our Instagram feed page looks like after making all those changes. You can go back and make other changes of your choice easily from the given options. Let me know what you think of the Instagram feed widget by commenting your thoughts below. If you guys found this video useful, do leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more related content. Thank you for watching.